Today, we will be talking about one of the best cheapies that money can buy. Welcome to Latin Spice, my name is Manny and I'm here to help you out with your fragrance journey. So if you like fragrances, if you like this type of content, I'm going to ask you right now to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that way we can push these videos out to the YouTube algorithm and everyone can enjoy this amazing content. Today guys, we'll be talking about a cheapy but a goodie. These days where inflation can really kick your behind, we're going to be talking about a cheapy that could be a staple in your collection if you just want to spend a good 20 to 25 dollars what am i talking about i'm talking about banana republic tobacco and tonka bean now let me tell you guys about this fragrance well first of all let me let me talk about banana republic all right i absolutely love banana republic i try to wear so many things from Banana Republic, if I'm going to a party, if there's a special event or anything like that, I'll usually go to certain stores that have what I need and Banana Republic lately has really come in clutch and I have gotten some amazing pieces, some amazing sweaters, amazing jackets and trench coats and I am in awe of what Banana Republic is doing and producing these days, really good luxury. now. There is one thing though, uh, their fragrances were always available. They were always available in store, always. And you can go and they have quite a collection. And many people enjoy their fragrances because they're cheap and at the same time, they are a bit complex. They actually give you something in return for purchasing one of their uh, fragrances. So, you know, uh, at the time where you could buy them, you could always get them off with a special discount, um, especially in the factory stores. But today, in today's world, you can buy their fragrances for 20 to $25 in Burlington Co, okay? So Burlington Co factory, uh, you can go over there and you will find a number of these. In fact, you could most likely find almost a whole collection. So that might be something for you guys to look at and consider so i picked up this one tonka well tobacco and tonka bean for a couple of reasons um i've heard that it smells like side effect and i don't own side effect but i do have uh, maybe two to three clones of side effect including this one um and many people say that it does smell like side effect i mean it does have a purple box and um Let's get a close-up of it so that you guys can see tobacco and tonka bean, Banana Republic. It's pretty clear, pretty big on there. You get all your information in the back. You have your barcode in the bottom and I believe batch code as well. And um, then it opens up just like this. All right. So it, it's a really nice bottle, by the way. Let me add it's a very classy bottle. Um, and like always, these you know, even though it looks pretty nice and classy don't need it don't need it but the bottle the bottle has a nice weight to it it looks really nice i really enjoy this bottle it's gonna look beautiful in my collection this purple bottle all right so cap has nothing special it is a little heavy though it does feel like metal might be like a metalized plastic i don't i'm not sure but it feels heavy it does feel heavy and um, the bottle now feels so much less of weight. Let me take off the cap. So um, let's just spray it on and let's see what I think about it. Now I've worn this about twice already. But before I review it, you know, I kind of want to give you guys the best review. So I wore it a couple times and now I can truly tell you what I think about it. So. Immediately when you smell it, it smells synthetic, okay? It does smell a bit synthetic, um, but you have this sweetness in there, synthetic sweetness. You can pick up some fruits on there as well. 
And does it smell like side effects? It, it smells like vanilla, sweet. I don't really get tobacco in here really at all. It's more of like the Tonka bean creaminess. I mean, there's a little, there's a little darkness into there, some tobacco in there in the background, but it's not something when you're just like, oh, that's a tobacco scent. No, it's really not. It's really vanilla, sweet, tobacco, uh, no tobacco, um, Tonka bean, a um, little bit of fruitiness in there. And it's not a one-to-one -to -one to side effect, by no means, it is not a side effect um, replacement. But it is in that DNA, okay? It is in that side effect DNA, but it is not an actual replacement of side effects. So I must say that because, you know, uh, some of you might think that this is it, this is the replacement you're gonna get, but let me tell you, for 20 bucks, 20, 25 dollars, this is, great i like it a lot actually i really do could it be could it lean feminine yes a little bit it kind of does lean a little feminine um just a tad though um i wouldn't be too happy if my wife wore this i'll tell you that so i'd rather smell like it than have my wife smell like this for sure but i like it guys it's a good it's a good pickup so let's see what um let's see what's in there so that way you guys know for sure what notes we have in this fragrance. So in the top, we have Maribel Plum and Pear. In the mid, there's Tobacco Leaf and Coconut. And the base has Tonka Bean and Vanilla. Now, um, as far as the coconut blend in there, yeah, I, I now I start picking up a little bit of that as well. It's slightly in there, okay? But um, yeah, it's like a plum, coconutty vibe in there with the fruitiness and then the vanilla and the creaminess I think that that is a really good um, really good mixture now what I say is completely well blended I'm gonna say no I feel like there's something in there that might push you away from it too is it powdery not really but I think it's more like sweeter and you know with the tonka bean and now you have the coconut there that fruitiness in there you know it makes it makes a great um it makes a great scent but there is something in there that you know doesn't allow me to give it a full nod on this so um i do enjoy it i think i'll be wearing this you know in the nighttime when um maybe i take a shower and i just want to put on something before i go to bed um would I go out with this maybe on a casual day in the in the fall winter time but it's not gonna be something that I'm gonna be going for all the time all right it's not one of those but for 20 bucks again if you want to build your collection add something else to it that gives it some creaminess sweetness and all that good stuff then this one might be one to check out and you really don't have to test it out you don't have to get any um, decan of it because you're not really going to find it and at twenty dollars just get the whole bottle why not right from burlington so let me give you my ratings on this and that will be it for this so um as far as the projection this one does project it's not gonna be super powerful on projection but it does project though so um for projection i'll give it a seven out of ten i think that it could be more powerful but for the price that you're paying for this you really shouldn't be complaining at all. Uh, when it comes to the sillage in this, you're also, I also have to put it a seven out of 10. Um, it's going to perform, it's going to project. People are gonna smell it on you, but it's not gonna be a super powerhouse fragrance. So seven out of 10 for sillage is perfect in my rating scale. And then when it comes to the longevity, this is the department where it's not going to be the best thing. Now, this is an Eau de Parfum. Usually with an Eau de Parfum, we get eight, nine hours plus, um, sometimes plus. But for this one, I would say I get on my skin maybe four to six hours tops. So I can't really say that this is, you know, one of the best Eau de Parfums out there, but it is a good solid scent. You know, it'll last you some good time and um, I would just wear it in the nighttime 
so that way it can last a little longer in the colder months and that might help out with performance so i have to give the longevity yeah it's uh it's gonna be a good six out of ten all right six out of ten for longevity all right guys so um there's really nothing much i need to say about it should you get it yes it's only 20 25 dollars get it just get it and try it and if you don't like it and it's okay give it to somebody else that will i mean it's not going to be something that you're going to really miss too much you're going to really miss those 20 dollars can you really get a quality fragrance for 20 dollars not really not these days but uh, this one yes you can if you like the banana republic line why not go ahead and um check it out there's more from banana republic as well let me know in the comments which other banana republic scent should i review and check out you guys let me know and let me know what you think about this one if you own it give me your thoughts right there in the comments and that is all from me guys so like always i'm latin spice and i'll make sure you smell nice guys take care